and fishing opportunities available in East Tennessee as the leaves start to turn. And this morning, Matt Cameron with the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency is here to get us ready for so many ways to get out and about in the great outdoors this fall. Good to see you, Matthew. Yeah, buddy. You too. Now, let's talk about it because fall is here, and I know a lot of <sighs> folks are getting ready for that. There's a, really a unique opportunity for folks that want to get out, maybe not do hunting, not do fishing, but there's a photo contest the TWRA is sponsoring. Tell us about it. Yeah, you, you shoot uh, with a camera instead yeah. of a, a firearm or right. a bow, and right. uh, every year we do have this uh, calendar contest, and mm -hmm. Uh, we put out the calendar uh, annually, so uh, the winning uh, photo photographs get uh, printed in that magazine, and it's really a, an honor to get a photograph in there, and it's some pretty serious competition. It really is, and that calendar y'all put out, I mean, it that is just really showcasing the wildlife all across East Tennessee. It is. It's not all about, you know, just hunting or fishing. Right. It's uh, watchable wildlife right. as well, so yeah, we encourage you to get the camera out and uh, take some photographs and understand you took a few that you I've submit. got a few I'm thinking about entering this time so I'm, I'm dockering I'm right doing a little editing on them right now but I've taken a few that I really like thinking about getting out there and you want to encourage folks to do that and it's real simple just go to TWRA the website there and you can find out how to enter Yes, uh, September 30th is the deadline. And got you got a few days left. Up to 10 photographs per person. So right. you pick your best 10 and go online. It's the easiest way to submit them. There's right. a link there you click and you can upload them directly to the internet and all the information is there. And you know, we're talking about, you were mentioning, we were mentioning hunting and fishing and all that. It's a great time if you've got a youngster or a teenager or somebody younger to start talking about hunter education with them, isn't it? Yes, it, it is. Um, if you're uh, age 10 or older, you have to have hunter education right. in Tennessee. and. If you're born after 1969, you got to have it. So it's getting to be just about everybody has to have it. But uh, we've changed the way that we do hunter education. We do still teach the traditional in-person courses, right. which are excellent. They are. Um, probably learn a whole lot more and get some <laughs> personal stories from hunters. And yeah. uh, But anyway, you can do it online now, completely free right. online. Just go to tnwildlife.org and you'll see the free hunter education and it's paid for. Uh, by the National Rifle Association. And just in the safety aspect of it along, I think that these classes really pay off for the future. I mean, they really do, just keeping people safe, learning how to do things the right way. Yeah, we'll never know how many accidents have probably been prevented from the Hunter Education Program, so uh, it's fantastic. So y'all want to stay on top of that as well. Hey, let's talk about hunting. We're talking about hunting. There's so many hunting seasons that are ongoing right now and more that are coming up here soon. Uh, small game hunters, I always forget them, so I'm going to start with them. Right. Squirrel season is open. It is open. Right now, uh, raccoon and possum open tomorrow night at okay. sunset, so you can get out and take your four Get out in the night time. Yeah. We need some coons thinned out, so get out and yeah. hunt those things. And uh, deer and turkey archery seasons open September the 26th. Right. Uh, so that's just around the corner. And then uh, bear season is also up and coming. So look at the, the website, uh, the hunting guide to find out season dates and bag limits for where you live because they're a little bit complicated to try right. to divulge. And you need to make sure before you go hunting that the property you're hunting on is either if it's private property, you have permission, and, or right. if you're hunting on public land, make sure you're on the right piece of land. Yeah, absolutely. You always have to have permission to hunt on private property, yes. whether it's posted or not. Right. You have to have permission. If it's posted uh, with the sign that says hunting by written permission only, you have to have written permission. Right as well and then on public land our wildlife management areas you can hunt a lot of those so make sure you've got the uh, WMA permits as well if you're right. going to go on those. And you go on that website we'll give that website to everybody in a minute and you all actually have maps on there that show exactly where all the public land is. Yeah that's the best way is to go on there and just take a look at where you're hunting and you'll be able to see uh, public hunting opportunities at tnwildlife.org. Right. Before I let you go we just came through the Labor Day season talk to us about Labor Day on area waterways. Yeah, fortunately, we got through the entire weekend without any fatal boating incidents. Right. Um, it's, you know, boating activity is largely weather dependent, so we did right. have a rainy Labor Day weekend. But as soon as the rain quit on Saturday on Douglas, we did have a, a very serious injury accident involving right. two young ladies yes. from Knoxville that were hit uh, by a boat when they fell off of an inner tube. The, the boat coming up behind them ran over them, uh -huh. cut them up, and it's a... Uh, we're hoping for the best. I don't know what right, the condition absolutely. is, but uh, yeah. they're in our thoughts and prayers for sure. All right. Matthew Cameron, we appreciate you. And all the yes, TWRA dudes, Likewise. we appreciate it. Hey, folks, we got some information. Right there is that website I'm talking about, tnwildlife.org. So much great information. If you want to enter that calendar contest, you can see right there how you can do it. If you want to get your license, you want to talk fishing, you want to talk hunting, they got all of that information right there.